I think it's safe to say that Marissa thinks that something happened between me and Annie at the cottage. I told you it's not just you that. You suspected that it's been going on this entire time, am I right? Maybe you think that too. I'd prefer not to think or talk about any of this. Pretending nothing happened's not gonna help anyone, Scott. Marissa. I don't blame you for jumping to that conclusion. I've let you down before. But you also know me. You can see me, you know what's in my heart. I told you the truth before, and I'm telling you the truth right now. And if you're still having doubts, you shouldn't. I told you why I went to the cottage. It was for you and, and, and for us and for this company. I know how hard it must be to trust me after everything that happened. But I swear to you, I will do whatever it takes to convince you. Place, right time. Hey, shh, you're shaking. I know it all happened you're okay. so fast. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. Hey, you're the guy from the park. The one who said he lost his dog. It wasn't actually my dog. I know. What are you doing up here? Did you follow me? Surprises. Oh, humor me this time, will you? And here she is, just on time. No surprise. I'm a surprise. What is this? Well, it's a reunion of sorts. I know the two of you are nothing near the close friends you once were, but I also know that despite everything that's happened, you still care very deeply for each other. So since Kendall is only here for a few days, I thought dinner would be the perfect opportunity for you guys to get past some of those bad feelings and get back to the incredible team you once were. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go see if our champagne was put on ice. Why are you really here? David invited me. I figured I would take advantage of the opportunity to help you. I don't need your help. All right, listen to me, Penny. Whatever unresolved issues we still have can wait. Tonight, I'm here to help you convince David you're falling back in love with him. 